Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 16, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we did rally all the way up to the 150 moving average and then just bang to the downside. At the moment, we tested as well um, the 200 moving average, and we're just above the 200 moving average at, at this point. If US dollar continues to uh, appreciate, then it will really challenge the 200 moving average here. If that breaks, then we could be looking at the drop towards the 300 moving average, and that's a drop of roughly 2% to the downside at this current stage. MACD is flat, um, RSI is flat, CGI is flat as well, and stochastic is bearish at this point. Um, in the short run, we could test the bottom of the bullish band. That's roughly half a percent to the downside, 13 and 75. There doesn't look like uh, much chance for this to basically, basically rally above the 50 moving average. So US dollar, Japanese yen, very similar here. We rallied above the 50 moving average, and then we basically just crashed. Just above the 100 moving average, if the 100 breaks, then we are looking at a drop of roughly 1% to the downside, 108. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is a bearish, the RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is stochastic. But we are basically at the bottom of the bullish band. So we are fairly overstretched, but there's still a lot of room to the downside in the RSI. If we were to rally, then 50, 40, and the 20 exponential all offer support. Usually this happens when, when you break a channel, you either go sideways or you basically drop even lower. So you're looking at the uh, Euro US dollar, uh, we're just going back and forward here. And it looks like the 20 exponential is holding and that we are just going to go even lower and lower. So we'll probably find massive support down here at 1170. And that's where we found support in the last time. Break below that, then we're dropping to 1160 and then much lower than that. Then we're going all the way down towards uh, 1069. Doesn't look very bullish at this current stage. US dollar continues to appreciate and has broken the uh, 300 moving average today. So um, if that continues, then that will basically weigh in on this uh, currency pair as most of the other currency pairs here. MACD is fairly bullish at this point in negative territory. RSI is flat, CZI is bearish, and stochastic is bearish. Momentum is definitely to the downside as the 20 exponential is still holding really well. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, this looks absolutely terrible. So we are basically at the bottom here. If break below this, then we are most likely going to drop towards 0.69 or 0.70, uh, give or take. So basically the, the very lows here. So that's a drop of roughly 5.6% uh, to the downside. So doesn't really, really look good. We have a crossing here of 20 exponential and uh, 300 moving average. Usually that doesn't really say much. It's when the 50 moving average basically crosses here, that will say uh, a lot. We are we still have a lot of room to the downside. We are basically at the bottom of the bullish band. So we could see this rally a little bit, probably up towards the 20 exponential and then continue. At this current stage, it looks like this is going to break. MACD is bearish, RSI is flat, CCI is bearish, and so casting is bearish as well. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, this continues to rally, has broken the 200 moving average, and now it looks like we are going to target the 300 moving average, roughly a rally of 1.25% to the upside. Market is changing in general at this current stage. Um, you can see it here in the foreign exchange market. You can also see it in indices, stocks, and so on, that there are basically signs that the market these major trends that we have been seeing the last year are about to change. And you can definitely see it also here in the US CAD. If you look at MACD, it's bullish. RSI is uh, flat at this point. CCI is bullish and the stochastic is bullish as well. We are very overstretched. So a pullback towards the 200 moving average. Probably this resistant line could as well be and then going probably higher. So, hope you find this helpful. You will support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.